People often talk about perfectionism in PhD work, almost always in negative terms. And it's true that if you set a standard or expectation for your work far in excess of your current ability, then perfectionism can be a real problem. But I think that often when we talk about perfectionism, we're actually talking about something else. For example, if you are scared to commit to a particular course of action or to commit to an argument in your writing, this might be because you're worried about what other people will think. Or it might be because you are worried about whether you're making the right choice. This can make you hesitant. It can make you feel like nothing you do is ever good enough. But this is not perfectionism. It is fear and indecision. In academic research and writing, some degree of perfectionism is necessary. There are times when you need to be meticulous in your attention to detail. But the crucial factor is deciding what details are important enough to deserve that attention and then taking the time and care needed to do the work to the best of your ability. Now it helps if you can be very specific about the standard you expect. If you just say this has to be really good to impress the examiner, there is no way of knowing if you're succeeding because you can't know what the examiner will think. But if you look at a specific element of your work and say, for example, I need to check that this statement is accurate or I need to make sure all my figures are correctly captioned, then these are things that you can verify. Or if you're doing experimental or analytical work, you can create checklists to make sure you're taking all the steps that you should and to avoid making stupid mistakes. This kind of perfectionism is actually achievable and it's necessary if you want to be a good academic.